Hello, Griffith Junior Senior High. Hope everybody's having a great day. A video is parents, community members, students. Uh, this video is all for you guys, kind of giving you updates here as we return back to school here for the 2022 second semester, right? Um, time is flying like crazy. Before I get to that, though, uh, hope everybody had a great winter break. Uh, got some snow, right? So watch your uh, travels and happy new year to everybody. Uh, you know, when I think of the new year, um, I always think of, of a goal, you know, having some type of, of goal to have for the new year. Uh, parents, you know, I highly encourage you to talk to your son, your daughter, um, about having a goal, you know, and I think it's one thing to say, um, you know, I want better grades. Okay, great. But how are you going to get there? That's the action step that sometimes people fail with goals is they don't create the action step. So have that conversation. Parents, create a goal for yourself. Students, we're gonna have a lot of conversation uh, this week in school about creating those goals um, and how you can have an action step to make sure that those goals get accomplished. So let's get into schedule here, first of all. We know that um, tomorrow is January 3rd. Uh, it is a e-learning day, all right? So that's number one. Uh, it is a Panther day. So you will have one through eight, you have all your classes. Right, the teachers will have a attendance question. Students, make sure we answer that attendance question. Um, and then they're gonna have some type of get to know you activity. We know it's the first day of the second semester, um, but you know, building relationships is very important. And that's one of our focuses the whole first semester and will continue the second semester. So this is a great way, students, for you to tell your teachers, maybe there's something you wanted to tell them first semester that you didn't or something that happened over break or a great story. I know that I'm looking forward to students when you walk in that building on Tuesday, hearing all the great positive stories of things that you guys did over break. So students take that advantage with your teachers um, on that Monday e-learning day. So then Tuesday and Thursday will be black days and Wednesday and Friday will be gold days. So be aware of that. Monday Panther, Tuesday's black, Wednesday's gold, Thursday black, Friday's gold, all right? Um, let's talk about, oh, also Monday. Um, so first semester finals, right? Some of you students, um, because of COVID reasons or this, that, the other, um, maybe you weren't in the building because, and you didn't get a chance to take your final. Email your teachers now, like right now, like get on your computer and email them now. Um, we have to get those wrapped up ASAP. Um, you know, we know that there were some situations out there and we want to get it taken care of. So make sure you email teachers that communication is so important. Students, right now, get on the computer, email them. Uh, and they'll come up with a time where you can retake those uh, finals. Uh, and speaking of COVID, you know, I want to go over just two things. Uh, Ms. Dumasich put these out um, earlier in the week. <clears throat> I want to read them to everyone just to make sure, um, you know, everybody saw it. We're on the same page. You did a great job of, um, of putting this together. Um, it's imperative that we want to continue to have students learning in person. Um, I, being Ms. Dumasich, want to strongly encourage both students and staff to mask up the first two weeks and return from break. Uh, I continue to support parent choice, and I respect all viewpoints on what a very sensitive topic for parents this is. I will not mandate the staff and students to wear masks. I am asking everyone to consider masking for two weeks so that we can all together, uh, we can work together in an effort to keep our students and staff healthy. These next two weeks are crucial. Students deserve to have a quality education in person in the classroom. Uh, the health of our teachers and staff will determine our ability to continue providing a quality education to our students. I understand that we have students that cannot mask for medical reasons, reasons directly related to a disability, et cetera. Um, please know that the school and community understands that masks are not an option for some students. Um, so that's one important thing that um, was put out. And the other thing is about the new quarantine policy. We know that the CDC came out and changed some guidelines to us. So this was also put out from uh, Ms. Dumasich. Um, new quarantine policy, this is new policy applies to both students and staff. Uh, if a student or staff tests positive for COVID, and that could be any test, that could be a lab, that could be an at-home test, whatever you have, um, staff and student must quarantine for five days 
All right. This is important. Day one is the day that you took the test. All right. Five days from the day that you took the test. Uh, students and staff may return between day six through 10 if they agree to wear a mask on day six through 10. Symptoms are improving um, and they have been fever free for at least 24 hours without medication. All right. Please be sure to email the positive results to the building, myself and the nurse, um, so that we can get those absences excused uh, for that time. If you're going to utilize the at-home test, day one will be counted uh, the day that we receive it. So again, that communication is so important. So if you take an at-home test, make sure you get it to us that day so day one can start then. All right, don't wait two days and then expect to come back on day three. Um, and please do, yeah, do not delay it. Okay, um, so just wanna make sure we're all on the same page with that. If you have any questions, uh, contact the school, contact Nurse Nikki, she's amazing. Uh, she's doing a good job keeping everybody organized with that. Um, so, uh, what else do I have here? Uh, report cards. I've had some emails about report cards. Um, report cards will be available on Power School on Friday. Uh, that is the date that district wide uh, report cards will be available. So, be aware of that. Um, also, as we get back into the second semester here, uh, students, your schedules, right? Schedules are right now in Power School. All right. So, you can go there to access them. Uh, if you have a scheduling conflict, let me bring this up here. Um, bum, bum, bum. Students, if you need to uh, schedule a change, make sure you email your counselor. That's step number one and notify them. All right, schedule changes will be made for the following reasons. You're missing a class or you've already taken and earned a credit in that class. All right, so we're not making schedule changes uh, because you don't like the teacher or because you wanna change your class period or you wanna have a different lunch or you wanna change your elective. All right, those aren't uh, reasons why we are changing um, classes. And students, what I want you to know is when you get back into school on Tuesday, let's say you have a conflict with period three uh, in your schedule and you need to see the counselors. We want you to come down during period three. All right, don't come back, don't come down in the very first you know, period of the class because you're missing that class. Come down the period that you have the conflict with, we will take care of you. If for some reason, let's say there's a line, we don't get to you, right? and the bell rings for the next class, we want you to go to that class and then come back Wednesday on period three or whatever class it is uh, that you have the con conflict with. All right, so students make sure that we are aware of that. Um, let's see here, got that, got that. Uh, parents, um, you, when we start the second semester and actually after any long break, um, I'm a very big expectation guy. I, I feel that if the students know what we expect of them, they, they will conform and they will make that happen. Um, we are going to Tuesday, we're gonna meet with all the middle school kids. Uh, Wednesday, we're gonna meet with all the high school kids. Uh, at our last PD uh, that we had, we as a staff came up with the ideal champion Panther. All right, and I want you to ask your uh, students about that. Ask our students, your son or daughter, um, about that ideal champion Panther and see what they, um, get out of this presentation that we have for them. I'm um, more than happy to share that uh, down the road with you guys. Uh, so be aware of that. Besides that, I just want to say thank you. It was a fantastic first semester. A lot, a lot of great things um, occurred. And I want to, we want to build off that, right? We expect some second semester to be even better than the first. All right. So parents, thank you for everything that you guys are doing for helping the kids um, at home. Um, you know, I'll put a push for activities after school, parents, and, you know, encourage your son or daughters to get involved in something outside of school. Uh, we would, that's uh, ideally what we want. We know that a kid that is engaged in an after school activity is more connected to school, right? So now's a great time to get involved in some of that stuff. Have a great day. Have a great week. And on students, I'll see you guys in the hallway. Parents, thank you for everything you're doing. Do you need anything? Just reach out. Every day.